circumstances kept us off the water. Last year, we were determined to make the most of spring Chinook season this year. We'd been fishing for a couple of hours the afternoon of June 2nd between the jetties that guard the mouth of Tillamook Bay. There was only one other boat out there. The fish are just now beginning to come in. Some days are good, some days are not. We decided to head in, but stop and fish a deep hole before we got to the marina. That was not a throttle reduction. Here it is again. For whatever reason, our two-cylinder outboard engine was now a single-cylinder outboard engine. I'd recently bought a gasoline-powered weed whacker that had a faulty spark plug, so spark plugs were on my mind. I hoped that this problem was something simple like a spark plug, or at least electrical, not mechanical. Our engine just half quit. The engine continued to run smoothly, but in extremely low power, no unusual clanking noises, that was a good sign. No blue smoke in the exhaust, another good sign. But I told Nareda we were not be stopping to fish that deep hole we like. We were going to limp on into the marina, call it a day. I didn't want to touch the throttle. I was afraid that any change might make the engine quit. And while we do have a spare five horse outboard on the transom, I confess it's not been run in probably two years and I didn't know if it would easily start. I like to fish through high slack tide. I know morning fishing is probably better than afternoon fishing, but we are not morning people. I had my usual difficulty of backing next to the dock using the convex mirror on the passenger side. I would much prefer a flat mirror over there. The trailer was too close to the dock. I'd have to pull forward and reposition, but Nareda didn't realize that. The dagger board makes the boat more maneuverable at low speed. Remembering to put it down is easy. The Honda outboard always starts easily. I'd started it at home before we left, just to be sure. Nareda coils and stows dock lines as we make our way out of the marina. I always forget one or two things on the first outing of the season. In this case, I forgot to raise the five horse outboard so it wouldn't drag through the water. We had seen no boats in the ghost hole as we were driving to the marina. There were only a few trailers in the lot so everyone must be out on the ocean or between the jetties protecting the entrance to Tillamook Bay. It was already mid-afternoon, only about two hours until high tide. The ghost hole was closer, but there was a rain shower in the bay. We headed for the blue sky between the jetties. The incoming tidal current was still strong. 
at idle, we moved backwards. So we motored just a little above idle to slowly make ground against the current. Two men on the only other boat out there said they'd caught a couple of fish earlier, so that was encouraging. All the other boats were out on the ocean. It was a pleasant afternoon, not cold, not windy, a good time to be out on the water. I prefer fishing on the ocean in nice weather, and this day was certainly nice enough but on the first outing of the season, you never know what might go wrong, or you might have forgotten. So we stayed inside. The current was slowing as we approached slack tide. We'd either catch fish now or some other day. The run of Spring Chinook is just beginning. Later in the month will be better. We've often missed the peak of the spring run because we've been out of town in June. Not this year. One nice thing about fishing, even if you don't catch fish, it's a pleasant pastime. The tide is turned and the water is flat. Supper beckons, so we slowly head back into the bay, fishing as we go, watching pelicans do much better at fishing than we do. It's getting late. We reel up, but leave the rods baited and lying in the boat as we plan to stop at one more hole just before we get to the marina. The herring was still firm after two years in our freezer. And here it comes. We're going a little faster than we should be in the marina, but I am afraid to throttle back any more than I absolutely have to.
we're glad there's not a lineup. Glad that we don't have to wait for a space at the dock. I'm approaching a little too fast, but I don't want to slow down too soon in case the engine dies when I do. Okay, we've made it. I sure does idle well on one cylinder. It's not critical at the moment. I need to get out of people's way. Remember I said at the beginning that it's easy to remember to put the dagger board down. And of course we had an audience. I offered to come around and pull up the dagger board, which sticks sometimes, but Noretta said she'd get it. The only reason we have this sequence and what follows is I forgot to turn the camera off in my preoccupation with the engine problem. Water at the bow of the boat is over my boot tops. If I step off the trailer too soon, I fill my boots. I don't crank the winch all the way to the stop. The stern of the boat will settle as I pull it out of the water. It takes a few minutes to put away a gear, finish winching the boat to the stop, tie it down, and double check to make sure nothing's forgotten. It was a late supper after the 30 mile drive home and after I'd washed the boat and trailer and flushed the motor. The engine started easily, ran on one cylinder, no smoke, no problem. The next morning, troubleshooting, when I tried to start it, there was a huge cloud of blue smoke. The spark plug is good. There's oil in the cylinder. It's not electrical. It's mechanical. And that means expensive. It goes in for diagnosis in a week. And perhaps parts will arrive and it will be finished and back on the water. Perhaps in early July. All of our fishing for the next few weeks will be fly fishing in streams or fishing small lakes and the river from our rowboat or our kayak. With salmon fishing off the schedule, I'll have time to finally get the rest of the logs down to my sawmill and to spend more time with my new lathe. I started a second channel a few weeks ago devoted to nothing but wood turning. I'll put a link to that channel in the description because I don't know how to put it on here yet. When we think everything is finished, 
to make one last walk around to make sure everything is finished. What? Everything's done. Well, so much for our first salmon trip of 2022. Next video, we'll be skidding logs down the hill, perhaps with a GoPro attached. That ought to be a hell of a ride.